welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swish and reviewing the video. I called calls on this today. They worked. I waited a little bit to do them. I wanted to make sure this was going to go right. It is. Uh, I would be shocked. This is up in the after hours tonight here. It's running up right now. It could even get to 800 tonight, but I'd be shocked if this isn't above 800 in the pre-market tomorrow morning. I have 100% conviction that it will be. In fact, it's probably, it's gonna try to get there right now as we're speaking here. This is a live gap, it's a real gap. This is a bullish gap, it's a gap up. It's happening tonight. So it gapped up today from the earnings that were the previous night, last night, and it's gapping up again tonight. So again, when you're looking for what to trade, what to do, you have to look for institutional money. Is it buying a stock? Is it selling a stock? Is it shorting it? You need to go with institutional money in order to make money in the market. So a lot of things happen to this this week if you go back. People shorted it the other day. People are waiting to short it today. People are waiting to short it tomorrow, which is crazy. And again, we didn't touch this prior to the earnings. Why? First of all, it was crazy expensive. I didn't look it up, but somebody in the room told me that the at the money, at the money calls on for Friday, on Wednesday before the earnings were thirty six dollars, which was insanity. Which is ridiculous. They build too much of a cushion in prior to the earnings. Taking, like, it's, we don't guess. I don't guess what's going to happen. I don't trade in a feeling. I get up in the morning and I rate the gap. And that's what I did with this today. I rated this as a bullish gap to go long today. We didn't day trade it, but we could have. We did a call in it, which was a heck of a lot cheaper than doing it as a day trade at this price point. I mean, look at it. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying... You don't guess, you don't trade by feelings, you don't trade on what the fundamentals are either because they don't always align up with what happens in the stock. Same thing with economic data, with the market. You can have horrible data, the market rally, vice versa. I get up in the morning and I rate the gap. And I'm not rating this here tonight. I'm gonna rate it tomorrow. But again, I'm in call, so I'm already in it. Will I do a new trade in it tomorrow? I have no idea. I won't if the new gap if this gaps up tomorrow, which it's gonna, it's definitely, definitely gonna, I will rate the new gap and determine if I should take it again. But I might not. I might just get out of the one that I am in. You follow me? So I think far too many people traded this on a crapshoot. Some people got burned shorting this or buying puts into the earnings. People that went long or bought calls, yeah, you could have made money. Depends what, what you did with it expiration date cost strike this thing that thing the other but the reality is that taking something into the earnings is a crap shoot you don't know the reaction on the earnings you don't know what they're going to say and you don't know the reaction either you're, it, you're, it's a it's your gambling we do not gamble i do not gamble when i trade i get up in the morning and i rate the gap i use that system to trade sometimes you can gamble and make money and that's what you could have done with this and it would have paid off if you bought it prior to the earnings but it might not have paid off and for every one trade that does pay off you're going to lose in 25 that don't and it's not going to end up in your favor trust me i've been down this road we're talking about the room today i've been down this road before when i started trading options when i started doing options a long time ago i did a couple trades into the earnings some of them i was even right and lost in the trades i was right in the direction but for example, I would have bought calls in them, paid so much into the earnings, and then they sold off like a hotcake into the gap up, and I lost in the trade, even though I was right on the direction. So it's just, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. I'm not predicting the gap. I'm predicting the move the stock will make after I rate the gap, after I see the gap. Now, I'm predicting this is going to gap up tomorrow because I'm seeing it gap up now. It's, it actually, I'm not predicting the gap. It's, it's gapping. This is a gap. It's gapping up tonight right now as we speak it's closed at 785.38 and it's up it's at around 790 so it's it's going to get to 800 it'll be there by tomorrow morning if not tonight we got a while left here tonight though it could be there tonight it's getting bought my point is that don't gamble it's just people think the only way you can make money is if you take it prior to the gap that is completely 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 false that's a separate video a much longer video. I'm too tired tonight. I had a long day and I teach the class this week and I want to go to bed early tonight and relax tomorrow. But I'm telling you right now, that's a whole lecture that I can do sometime, a whole write-up I can do in the email, a whole long thing, which people need to know. You, you, you can make a lot of money trading after you see the gap. absolutely, freaking lootly And we do. And I'm talking about 500%, more, 100%, 200%, 300%. Yes, you can. 
taking trades, guessing the gap itself or into the earnings is a crapshoot. It's gambling and you have no idea what it's going to do. That being said, we went long this and it worked. It was a good trade, but we waited. We waited. I even waited for the confirmation here. I'm looking at a, oh my gosh, I'm, I should take a video of this. I'm looking right now. It's dark out. It's starting to get dusk and I'm looking at a crane. They're building a building here. I'm looking at a crane with something hanging that's swinging on it and it just started to rain with this crane and they're still working and it's 515 and it's dark and it's rainy and they have a night light on. I've seen them working at night before. They must be, pa they must be behind on this building. They're lifting something here to build this building on the roof of this building and a crane in the rain and it's swinging. Not the crane, but the thing that they're lifting. Oh my Lanta. I have to take a picture of that. Anyways, I'm getting back to the video. See where it goes tomorrow. 100% conviction tomorrow, over 800. NVIDIA, go, boom. Congratulations today, everybody that did the NVIDIA calls. The Gap Options newsletter is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous newsletter. It is like gold, gold people. And so it's been a great year. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the class this weekend, I still have a few more spots. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. Class is February 24th and 25th. Deadline's tomorrow. Talk to you soon.